part of the evaluation that I do when I'm evaluating a horse is I'm going to look at the hooves and we'll notice that there's a disparity between the hooves. This one is more rounded, this one is more flat sided, the heels are closer together. It leads me to believe that there's been a lameness in this left fore or this limb, limb is the dominant limb. I'll look up the limb and look at the muscling too to see which side is more developed. You notice that this side is a little more developed than this side. Leads me to believe that there's been something going on there. A horse with an underrun heel is stretching right out. The stride length is long. A horse with an upright heel, as this one is, has a short stride. It's not stretching way out. I'll square Hank up a little bit here. When I look at him, you run your eye down the, the back limbs. He's ready for me to pick it up. Let's ask him to stand on it. There you go, Hank. Come on, there you go. You'll notice that the metatarsal goes a little bit forward. He's a little bit sickle hocked and we breed horses, especially reining horses this way and that allows them to slide, to do that slide to the best of the ability. It'll also change the hoof shape and conformation. These horses will tend to have uh, run under heels, possibly long toes. So when we're trimming and chewing these horses, we want to pay particular attention to that. May need some extension of the shoe at the back of the hoof, may need a rocker, roll, or square toe to help take some of the breakover stresses and stresses off of that dorsal hoof wall or the front of the hoof. Because Hank is a working horse, we may go with this Triumph Light. One, because he doesn't have a very thick hoof wall, so we want a narrower width of web. We also want a crease or a fuller all the way around. This will pack with dirt and debris and create a subtle traction device. It also has a very blunt toe. We know that he possibly has some issues there by looking at the disparity in the hoof and we want to take stress off of the deep digital flexor tendon so we're going to ease break over there. With the hind limbs, he's a little sickle hocked. This shoe, the Triumph Light hind shoe, will give the square toe pattern that we could set back on a little, a little bit on the hoof plus it will give us a little extension on the heels for his confirmation.